Carrie, thank you for joining me. Hi, Joe. Great to be here. <laughs> Fabulous. Tell me all about this organisation of yours. I'm really looking forward to hearing about how you guys roll and um, what it looks like working in your organisation. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm Kerry Kwan, the co-founder of Mums & Co, and we help women in business grow. Uh, and we advocate for her ambition by providing um, access to a digital membership, and that unlocks things like uh, helping her build deep networks, access strategic guidance, uh, and other resources. Uh, so we really want to support her at every stage of business that she's at. Um, and, you know, from a, I guess, a big picture view where we're trying to create a world where women don't have to choose between their ambitions and their caring responsibilities, whether that be um, older generation, younger generation, uh, we've, we've got, you know, caring responsibilities. So, and we also have got a lot of ambition. So good. So tell me, what does it sort of look like? What does the team look like? How do you guys work? What does a day in the life look like at Mums & Co? We have a, I think, a small but mighty team. Um, and there is uh, day to day. Uh, we're a really, really collaborative team. We work really close to get it together. Um, there's a great culture in terms of uh, our purpose. We're all driven and um, trying to, to create this sort of better world. Uh, and it's, 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 it has the community manager, digital manager, um, and chief of staff and myself are probably the, the, um, the day to day, but then we also work with a team of really skilled, um, developers because we're a digital app as well. Uh, and then we also have the backing of, um, IG, which is our, uh, they've been backing us since 2016 when we, um, when we, when we launched. Uh, and very much on the path of making a world a safer space, and in our case, particularly for um, for women. So, because it's quite a risky journey, and and we want to try and de-risk that journey and provide the right support, whether it be um, upskilling, networking, or just the emotional support. You know, having a a space where everyone gets what you need to do. Um, we don't have to be apologetic about blending our ambitions and caring responsibilities. Cool. So tell me, what does the sort of infrastructure, I guess, of the, the the office, the hybrid, the work from home, the work from anywhere, what does it sort of look like as far as how you guys work? Um, it's actually uh, interesting because before COVID, we were probably already working um, two days a week remotely. Uh, so we're a completely hybrid um, team. Um, we like to come together, uh, you know, on a, on a you know, in person uh, on a regular basis, you know, once a week uh, because we're all, um, I don't know, we just get a lot of energy from each other and we're able to uh, meet face-to-face. -face. So I'd probably say that 20% of the role we like to try and catch up as a team and then 80% of it is essentially remote. It's us working from home, I'm working from home today um, and actually have been for the last few weeks because we've had a bit of sickness in the family Um uh, and that's fine because we've got such a um, suite of, of uh, digital collaborative tools and communication tools that we're always working on. And our product is essentially an app. So, um, you know, we, we, we love to see you occasionally and um, uh, we'll certainly help you organise uh, that sort of cadence um, uh, with notice and, you know, how we can work around uh, whatever the commitments that you have at home and, and at work are. Cool. So tell me then, I want to come back to all of that plethora of, um, of digital tools that you guys are using because I love hearing what how people sort of do the tech side of things. But talk me through for someone that isn't based in Sydney where that, that place that you guys do come together on a semi-regular basis, what does it sort of look like for people working with your organisation who might not be based in Sydney? So um, we have, gosh, it's literally, I did an audit recently of how many digital subscriptions to software programs and tools that we have. And I think it came up to something like 52. Um, so we- Tracking, Spoken like a true tech startup. <laughs> And, and that's not to alarm you because we whittle it down to probably a core group of 25 now. Um, you know, there's always some something that you've signed up to that you might not be using anymore. Um, and 
you know, there are things like Slack, which is our our kind of um, real time collaborative sharing ideas on a project or or just random things. We've got a we've got a channel which is just you know. Uh, literally called random, and we, uh, we we post recipes or we post um, what's happening at home and, and kids' photos and things like that um, or an interesting article that we've come across that might be useful in our, you know, in our, in our whatever lives and hobbies that we have. Um, but Slack is a core part of it. We use Trello for project management. Um, we use Active Campaign for our CRM, uh, our EDMs and our sales pipeline. Uh, we have a really cool uh, app where we record videos and welcome every single person to our community personally. Um, and then the, all the social media guys, you know, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, they're all there. Uh, yeah, lots of different. We podca- We actually have a podcast, so we're, we're do- using a lot of um, uh, podcasting services. And then things like um, Hotjar or Google Analytics um, and Retool. Uh, and then, of course, Canva. We can't forget Canva from a publishing perspective. So we use lots of those um, software programs. But day-to-day, to keep in touch, I'd probably say Slack and Trello are our key, our key tools. Um, uh, and I was just thinking, oh. So I'm hearing you, that, you know, I'm hearing that, that the yeah. <laughs> I know, imagine that, that concept of, like, actually talking to someone on a phone is hilarious. So um, for what I'm hearing, though, is the fact that because you guys, you it sounds like a lot of the stuff you do, you're living in the cloud as it is in the best way possible and that the people that are into, like, integrated and interacting within your organisation can be doing, like, leveraging those tools to be working from from wherever best suits yeah, and I don't think I think this is you know the key word for me is communication and collaboration, right? It you know we we have so much trust in our team members and we're also driven. We've got a great culture here, um, you know, which is empowering, ambition, collectively caring, and delighting our customers, which are our members. Um, and you know we have such a great purpose that um, everyone's very motivated to do the work. I don't have to worry about. Um, keeping an eye on productivity because um, if anything it might be just as long as as long as you know sometimes we're we're going uh, beyond and you know sometimes we have to pull ourselves back and go okay you know you've 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 filled your ambition cup now go work on your well-being or your ambition your um your livelihood spend time with the, the family um so I think there's you know, that's a great, great thing. So I think for me, it's all about just having the right tools for us to collaborate in real time, move fast um, and be really, you know, open about it. It might take a little bit of time to just get up to speed. Um, but then once you're, once you're onto, onto it, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll love having that sort of the connection, um, which we, we sort of fill the gaps with all our sort of digital tools. Mm. Well, I guess that that's a, a sort of perfect segue in that when someone is joining your team, are you sort of almost like an American presidential candidate has that has their first 100 days <laughs> and what those first few months looks like when you join Mums & Co? Um, you know, I, I was thinking about when you were talking, um, there's one organisation which uh, when you started, you actually, <laughs> excuse me, you, you didn't actually say anything you just listened um so for your first you know however many meetings 15 50 meetings that you might have attended you just listened um and had the space to do that um we're not quite there with that that policy because we're a very small team and we just want to we want to hear your views and your ideas and, and get going straight away um but first six months I think we could say, um, well, this 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 whole role is about growing um, the Mums and Co membership. It's about increasing um, our conversations with um, potential customers, growing our community size, and supporting our sort of sales and service outreach. It's all about. It's also about marketing, creating market as, marketing assets um, to reach and engage and retain um, our community, which is currently about twenty eight thousand across Australia, um, and we've got ten owned media channels. So. Uh, I'd love to say that, you know, we'll, we'll definitely get you some time to settle, get to know the team um, and, and, you know, get to know each other. Uh, but then it's it's basically just kind of getting immersed in the tools. We want you to hit the ground running. We want lots of ideas um, and uh, assisting 
um, our digital marketing manager, Olivia, and our community manager, Lucy, uh, and Sarah, our chief of staff, um, supporting them uh, very much in, in creating those opportunities. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I'm thrilled to um, hear that you're growing and that I know that when you're growing, that means that organisations like yourself are having really good big impact with who you're trying to um, to serve. So um, congratulations on growing. We always like to see that. And um, it's been really cool to hear that you guys are really leveraging tech, which is really awesome and really promoting that that flexibility within the workforce. So it's really fab to hear. Yeah, Thank thanks, you so much Joe. for We're joining We're really excited me. about the next phase of growth um, and you know we're really really excited to meet um, our newest member of the team so good thanks for coming